Hello everyone. So today I am going to talk about data loader, which is basically a Salesforce product only, mainly used for inserting and updating records into Salesforce, as well as retrieving the records from Salesforce and storing them as CSV file in our local system. So basically, there are two forms of data loader. One is the browser browser data loader web application form, and the other one is the data loader software that we can install in our system and use it directly from there. So we'll discuss about both of them. So in our Salesforce or in the setup, search for data load, search for loader itself, just loader. So you will see both the options here. One is data loader dot io. This is the web browser form of data loader. And the other is data loader. There is a space between data and loader. This will give you the options to download the software of data loader in your system. So we'll first discuss about data loader dot io. That is, if you don't want to download the software, then you can directly use it from your browser anytime you want to. So this is the page of dataloader.io. Login with Salesforce. So since my org is a developer edition org, I will choose the environment as sandbox. Sorry, I'll choose the environment as production as it is a developer edition org. Then click on login. As I'm already logged in into my Salesforce org, with this browser, it will take my authorization from there only authentication. It will authorize me without needing to enter username and password. But if you are not logged in into your Salesforce org, it will ask you for the username and password to log in. So see, now I am logged in into this uh, data loader .io. So in order to perform the actions, there is a button called new task. And you will see three options import is to insert records into salesforce or update export is to retrieve the records from salesforce and delete is to delete the records which are present in salesforce what we'll do is we'll just x use the export option and it will give you a very interactive ui you have to just move with clicks uh, to get your job done we'll select the account object And then this is also a very good UI user interface that you can select the fields that you want to query. So if you see, there is a section called Sockle query. Whatever options you select from the UI, those will get updated over here. So let me select account ID, name, number, and type. So see, your in that way, similar way, your Sockle query is also getting framed. And here, from here, you can provide the filters, which is nothing but where clause of your Sockle query. You can directly type your query over here without, if you don't want to utilize the UI feature, you can directly frame your Sockle query from here. So for now, let's uh, give one filter as well, where account name contains. Let's see if we have any accounts with certain name type ACC. Let's give this. Now we'll move to next. You have an unapplied filter. Okay. Okay. We have to click the plus icon here in order to make it applicable. So it will come in the circle query itself. Everything you do on the UI will get reflected here under the circle query section. So where name like ACC, this will be my filter. Move to next. This will give you several options like what should be the name of the file that you will download and store in your system. You can change it anytime. Account with name ACC. This should be the name of the file that I will download. And then there are uh, other informations as well. That is object type is export. And here, see, it has already gathered the number of records which are fulfilling your uh, per operation here. So there are 10 records whose name contains ACC. And there are options to schedule your task if you want to perform it right away or after some time. Then there is an option called use bulk API. So this is applicable when your number of records crosses more than 2000 so you should use bulk api so that it will query your records in batches let's click on save and run and you will see the operation running here it will take 
a very little time sometimes depending upon the number of records that are applicable to be fetched and see 10 success now clicking on this link only will download the records that have been fetched in the csv format let's click on that and see it has been downloaded we'll just go and look what all records have been export so see these are the records that have been retrieved from salesforce org and it is also matching the condition which we have provided that is account name should contain the word acc see all these uh, account records have the acc phrase in their name so this is how this data loader dot io works and now we will move to our next section which is data loader application or the software that we have to download in order to use so in just select data loader here then downloads it will open one website basically the official website from where you can download the salesforce data loader just to save time i have already downloaded this and you need once it is downloaded just extract it and once it is extracted you will see a file like this it will contains all the information of this software now what you need to do is you have to click double click on this jar file which is called data loader this is the jar file which is basically or uh, the application that you have to use let's open so there it is now you will see something that this data loader application is much much different from your data loader.io the user interface of this application is quite simple and less complex as well as very tiny in terms of uh, information provided on the page now here also we'll perform the similar kind of activity let's click on export and before that you have to authorize yourself and as uh, similarly you have to provide the environment type which is production or sandbox so there are two options one is OAuth that is it will take you to the browser make you sign in there take your permission and then it will uh, return it back here the control or else you can directly come uh, choose password authentication to provide your username and password here let's select OAuth here click on login see uh, it has pro given me the id connect see so this is the username that i have been logged in with in my current browser and i will just allow it to access this org continue so it has authenticated my device with the data loader application this is how OAuth authorization works now let me go back to my data loader application here now you see it has been authenticated now since i've clicked on export it is asking me to choose the object which i want to export let me click export again since now i'm already logged in you can see on the top of this page this is the username that i'm logged in with now let's select uh, another object called uh, opportunity to be queried and uh, here also we get the option to name the file that will be downloaded next I already previously in the in the previous page i already clicked that so here you see you can select the fields that you want to query and created it this is the filters that you can provide it's the same as what we were seeing in the web form so here we don't want to provide any filter we just want to query all the records <coughs> yes see the operation now it has queried this is very fast as compared to the web form web application it has queried 709 records in just almost in a second we we'll just click on view extraction and here it is 709 records 
you can also view these records as a file which have been stored in your local system with the name opportunity okay so this is how both the forms of data loader work the let me know which one do you like the more whether the web application form or the software application thanks for watching